Thanks, but no thanks. We've learned that some wait staff in mid Michigan are against litigation that would triple their base salary. Thanks for watching the news at five. I'm David Custer and I'm Meg McLeod. TV 5's James Felton went to a local restaurant to find out why. It's going to be drastic. Rick Rebeck, owner of Mulligan's Pub in Bay City, is concerned about the potential for significant wage increases for his wait staff in 2023. As we've reported, minimum wage will rise at the start of 2023, up to $10.10 .10 per hour, with tipped employees getting $3.84 per hour. But these numbers you can see on your screen aren't what has Rivette worried. Right now, there's a legal battle in the courts that, depending on what is decided, could raise the minimum wage to $13.03 per hour, and more importantly for Rivette, increase the minimum wage for tipped employees to $11.73 per hour at some point in 2023. It'll triple every restaurant's payroll pretty much. It's going to cut back on the servers who are going to want to work for that amount because they're not going to be getting the tips that they normally do, which is usually higher than that. Hallie Ozarzak is a server at Mulligan's Pub. She tells us if her base salary triples, she'll probably look for a new line of work. If my minimum wage gets bumped up, I'm probably not going to serve anymore. Um, I won't make as much money in there. I might as well go get a different job. Ozarzak believes she'll lose around $200 a week in tips. She says customers won't leave as much if they know wait staff are being paid more. Ozarzak thinks if the motivation for tips goes away, servers won't be as accommodating to patrons. If it's not depending on their tip, I'm sure some of them won't even check on people half the time. I just feel like service is just going to go way down. And prices will go up, Rebet says. He's urging the public to contact their state lawmakers about this issue. If we have to triple our payroll, we have no other choice but to raise prices. And it, it's expensive enough to go out to eat with all the price of our, our food and commodities right now. So it's, it's going to be tough. Reporting in Bay City, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. If you want further information regarding the pending minimum wage litigation, go to the hot links section on WNEM.com.